Good afternoon. Um, happy Thanksgiving. That's what today's all about. Um, welcome to episode 539. Happy Thanksgiving to all. And what are you thankful for is the topic today. Um, before I jump in, let me introduce myself. Also let you know that the screen's reversed because my Facebook decides to crash every time I attempt to flip the screen. So putting it, so this is now backwards the way it normally is. So I'm wondering why suddenly the plant's on that side, instead of on that side. That's why. And also why my look reversed. That's because. So, thanks for joining me. <laughs> be thankful for that as well. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. And every day for the last couple of years, I do a Facebook Live every day called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today, being Thanksgiving, I thought we'd do a Thanksgiving-relevant topic, which is, what are you thankful for? And I'll go first. <laughs> By the way, um, this is Facebook Live, which does go onto YouTube and my podcast. I'll tell you about the links at the back end of that. And also, this is normally at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but today, because it's Thanksgiving, and I'm heading out in about half an hour to go to a uh, friend's gathering, because being English, I don't have family over here doing Thanksgiving, so I join friends and do a, an orphan one, which I'm also grateful for. Uh, I want to get this done before I go so I can relax and chill the rest of the afternoon. I didn't want to pull out in the middle of dinner to do a Facebook Live at the right time because it's my choice, <laughs> for which I'm grateful. I'm going to keep doing that, dropping that hint. Um, I was reflecting actually last year I did a Facebook Live because it's been over almost two years, um, asking what your GQ was. And the GQ I used was your gratitude quotient. So I'm going to play with that again today. Simply, be, I, I should also, by the way, I posted the replay from that earlier today because it shows up in my memories on Facebook, so I use, share them out. So. What I want to talk about, not so much about what are you grateful for, because there's a lot, I can, lot we can come up with. The fact you're breathing, the fact you can watch this, which means you must have technology, you must have Wi-Fi or cell signal, you probably have a phone or a computer. Those are things you'd be grateful for. Um, as well as the fact you probably are breathing, your heart's, move, your heart's working, it's, it's magic inside your body. You probably ate today, and um, today you may be feasting as well, so who knows? So lots of things you'd be grateful for very basically, but I want to talk about the energetic of great gratitude. I do. Apparently I do. I just <laughs> I just said that without thinking and I'm getting okay, I'll talk about the energy of gratitude. The thing I'm really because let me say this. All over social media today, people are posting their thanks and gratitude for their families, their friends, they're getting together with friend, getting together with people, um, the fact it's a day off, um, they, they got a good feast to have grateful for those who are alive, grateful for those who passed on, and all that stuff. And if you don't live in the United States, you probably aren't celebrating because that's not really a, a, a worldwide event. It's a Thanksgiving event in America. Canada had theirs last month, so they've already done theirs. So we're left here in, in this country doing it on this day, which is the last, second to last Thursday of the month, something like that, or third Thursday, whatever it is. It's, it's this Thursday, <laughs> which is today. So what I want to speak about Again, is the qualities of thanks of gratitude because of what it can do for you. Yes, there's a nugget of teaching in here. Gratitude is a. I say this. Gratitude is a selfish act. Yes, as strange as it sounds, it's a selfish act because what it does is it feeds the self, not the ego, but the self. And I want to differentiate the two. Ego and self are two different things. Ego is more the id or the to use Freudian terms. Um, is the mental driven, like getting things done, um, I'm in charge and screw anybody else type energetic. The self is who we are, our beingness, our wholeness, including our heart, spirit, mind, all of that. So when you are being grateful, you're fueling yourself, big S self. Which means what happens is, first of all, you put yourself in a place of receptivity. And something I learned a long time ago which I practice more now than I've done and it keeps becoming a new practice is that if I'm grateful for where I am now it, bears to, it, it stands to reason it'd be wise if not mandatory to be thankful for everything that came before because if I, I was talking about this on, I was actually um, talking with my friend uh, Gina on Tuesday because I, I do a Tuesday night broadcast two days ago um, it's Gina and Barry doing it live on Facebook that was 7pm Pacific time normally 6.37 o'clock every Tuesday so you can catch episode 8 or 9 next week yeah it was 7 this week anyway I was talking to her about how if we could go back and change anything would we 
And I was sitting there saying, well, there's things I'd love to have changed back in my history, but I realized if I did, I doubt I'd be where I am now. And being grateful for my life as it is, even though it's not where I want it to be necessarily, gives me a reminder that everything that came before contributed to where I am now. The idea of the um, time travel, disrupting the timeline type idea, if you're a science fiction nerd like myself, makes a lot of sense that if we go back in time, if I, for example, went back to when I was a teenager and hit the guy that, when the first guy that hit me as, as a kid or, or messed with me as a bully in my teen, in my, when I was probably 11 or 12 at the time, if I had turned around and smacked him in the face, he would have stopped. And I'm, I believe, and I might have ended up becoming one of them. That would have been a very different path I would have followed to get here. So as much as I don't, I didn't want to, I'd love to go back and wipe out that bullying experience as a kid. It changed me for the better, as strange as it sounds. I'm really clear looking back that I have a lot more compassion and humility in my own life. And to be honest, I play a lot lower than I should because of the fact I was bullied. So I don't, I'm, not as, I'm not necessarily as bold and as egotistical as I might have been if I hadn't been bullied. So there's a blessing in there. And so by being grateful for that experience and all the other experiences of my life that I went through, the, the even, I mean, the relationship challenge I went through that, especially the last three that really changed my life, put me into this work. And I wouldn't have written my book. I wouldn't have done all the work I do. I wouldn't have helped my clients. And I wouldn't be doing these if it hadn't been for those, the, directly because of those relationships that put me into the journey, or I should say, threw me into the work I do now and threw me into the learning I was doing that changed my life in 2007. So I can look back at those bad experiences, those negative things that happened in my early years, and I could judge them and say, you know, I wish they were different, they hadn't happened. And I gotta be honest with myself, that all of those things contributed to my life the way it is now, and who I am now. And yes, I'd have, I'd love to have certain, well, I can I still hack, still can, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> there are lots of experiences I'd love to have which I haven't done yet, which is great, because it keeps me interested and focused on like, oh, what else can I do now? But who I am, the quality of life of who I, what I bring to the world, how I serve in the world, and how grateful I am for being in this world the way I am, is directly based upon what I went through in my earlier life. You have the same opportunity. You have the opportunity, if you wish, to look back at your life and be thankful for it or to curse it. There are many people I know who are very upset with what happened in the past. And yes, in some cases, there are justified reasons to. Yet if you're happy with where you are, if you're happy with the life you have, then absolutely making peace with what happened before is a requirement. Accepting it as is, is part of that journey. Now, slightly added piece. If there is, because I'm thinking coaching terms all the time, if you are in a place where you're not where you want to be in your life, then it's good advice to get counsel and guidance from somebody who has some experience in the area of growth, consciousness, coaching, counseling, etc., like myself or somebody else. If you have memories that are impinging on your current life that don't give you a chance to be happy and free, then again, same thing, get some help. But if you are in a place where your life is great, you're thankful and grateful in this very moment for your life, hey Gina, happy Thanksgiving to you too. Um, love seeing the, the video of the cats this morning, they look a lot healthier and happier thanks to you. That's a wonderful thing to give thanks for your, your kindness and caring for the cats, amongst other critters. Um, so the recognition is that if you can be thankful in this moment for who you are and what you're about, then everything that came before is part of that gratitude. Which for some people is like, I can't do that. My parents or my upbringing or all these things were so challenging. But if you're now in a place where you're teaching other people, coaching and speaking and making a difference to the world and lifting other people, and you're happy where you're doing that and what you're doing, then what came before helped you get there. So being thankful is a requirement. Well, <laughs> optional. Judging it is definitely not required, but being grateful is a good idea. So for me, gratitude and being thankful is a touch back into that place of energetic of where I want to be in place to live my life. The more I can stay in gratitude in every moment, being grateful for the silliest little things and the biggest things frees me up to be of service in a way that I can do much bigger work in the world. And for that, I'm grateful. <laughs> Duh, <laughs> of course. So that's my quick little pep talk for Thanksgiving. If you want to talk further and get some help, I'll put the link in the comments for my um, uh, discovery session because the reality is for some of us, being grateful isn't easy. And maybe there's stuff in the past, stuff in the life that isn't lining up the way you want. 
it may be a good time to get some support, get some guidance. Not today, go out and play and have fun and feast today. But I'll leave the link in the comments so you can check in again tomorrow or some other time and get some help. But I want to just say I'm grateful and thankful for my life <clears throat> and where it's going because I know there's some good stuff coming even though I've got an idea, idea what it is. But that is simply the way um, the way life goes. You have a choice. Be grateful or not. And if you are grateful, own it. If you're not grateful, what can you do to get there? That's your homework. With that, I thank you for watching. This again is my Facebook Live I do every day. Even though the screen was flipped today, something wrong with Facebook, I'll fix it tomorrow. I will be back in tomorrow, tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time as usual. Um, this is Facebook Live first. Goes into my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby author. Then onto my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby as well. All my all my social media is Barry Selby. On YouTube, the playlist is sorry, the channel is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages from the Masculine. You can go subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, or please. And um, you can then listen to any of my broadcasts, watch my broadcasts as you wish. If you want to listen to my broadcasts only, then on my podcast, I'm actually loading them up there, also called Messages to the Masculine. You subscribe to my podcast and watch them, or excuse me, listen to them there. And take them with you when you're driving, riding, working out, whatever you're doing. Um, with that, I will thank you for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving if you are celebrating. If you're not, have a great day, period. And be thankful, because who you are is amazing. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.